What's going on, guys? So welcome to the video. Attraction grows in space. Why responsive men are less attractive. Mission-focused men are more attractive. Relationship-focused men are less attractive. Basically, is the, uh, the alternate title to this video. All right, we're, uh, we're talking about develop attraction today. Let's go. Attraction grows in space, not in close proximity. If you want to raise a woman's attraction for you, you first need to get her thinking about you. Being less responsive is one way to accomplish this. There's a deep underlying psychology when it comes to texting and calling women if you want to build attraction. What you say, how you say it, how long your messages are, how frequently you send messages, who initiates first, and how fast you respond communicates either weakness or strength. When a man immediately responds to a woman's messages, the woman can't help but feel a man's desperation. And what and it's and, and, and look, there are moments in time where I have responded immediately, but it's just because the rest of the day I haven't responded immediately, right? And most of the time, like 99% of the time, I'm not responding immediately because I'm focused on creating videos. I'm focused on the blogging content and creating and, and building up my media company. So just to be clear, it's better to be, you know, unavailable for a while and then you can be available for a little while. It's just about spoon feeding your time. What kind of man is desperate, the weak and unattractive man. Numerous psychological studies show that men who are highly responsive are less attractive to women. A responsive behavior set is comprised of behaviors that signal that a man understands, values, and is willing to support a woman and invest his resources into the relationship. In other words, he is prepared to become the ultimate provider, both physically and emotionally. Most men believe that acting this way is a good thing. They assume the more supportive, understanding, and responsive they are, the more likely a woman is to find them attractive. And while it's true that men find responsive women attractive, women don't feel the same way about responsive men. If there are any lessons to be learned from studies into attraction, it's that women aren't attracted to nice guys. It's just, and, and two, look, it's, it's not that you're completely ignoring somebody. You should be busy. You should be building. You should be working out. You should be with your friends. You should be enjoying your great individual life. And the reason why videos like this even have to be made is because dudes uh, get too thirsty and they want to be around women too much and they want to be around their women too much. They're attracted to men who project strength and confidence. If you start with a fundamental truth that women are attracted to strength in all its various forms and guises, it becomes a lot easier to see why being a nice guy and why being responsive is so unattractive. From a woman's perspective, a responsive man is more likely to be exploited by others. The responsive man also sends a signal that he's eager to please, has a weaker character and fewer dating options. If you're over-responsive and too available, you communicate weakness. A woman wants to know she can have space without having to worry about you getting upset or becoming clingy. Right. Every human being wants freedom. If a woman thinks you'll try to restrict her freedom in any way, she'll instinctively pull away from you. It's only in times of strife and uncertainty that problems arise. You must never allow your fears and insecurities to derail what should otherwise be a straightforward seduction. With this in mind, you must be conscious of where you stand in the seduction process and how fast you respond to women. When a woman sends you a message, you must be acutely aware of how long her messages are and also how long your messages are in response. If a woman sends you short, abrupt messages, her current level of attraction for you is low. Never make the mistake of responding to short messages with an overly long response. If for whatever reason a woman sends you short messages, which indicate a severe lack of interest, simply delay your response time replicating a similar lack of interest. Alternatively, sending no message at all is often- That's what mirroring is all about, right? Mirror, it's, it's like, it's like, and, and look, you can get so good at this that it doesn't require a conscious thought. It's just there, right? It's just, you just, and again, this is 10, a hundred times easier when you're mission focused, when you are building and doing big things and you're focused on other things, then it's so easy to do this. On top of that, the woman that you are dating has to have some sense of self-esteem. Okay. If she's a crazy bitch, she's going to be like, why are you ignoring me? Who are you with? And then there's men that are like, oh, babe, oh, relax. Oh. Simply delay your response time, replicating a similar lack of interest. Alternatively, sending no message at all is often a perfect way to allow a sense of anxiety to creep into the woman's mind and grab her attention. One of the main drawbacks to modern technology is that it's now easier than ever for women to test men. Be aware that technology can be used to project strength and it can also be used to expose weakness. Which response will you choose? Pick up the book. So here, here it is, fellas. I mean, it's so simple to understand. If you are, if you're relationship focused and you answer the phone all the time, see, I, I, guys, guys in my coaching program make this mistake all the fucking time. They make this mistake all the time. And they're like, 
what can I do, you know, to get her attraction level to go back up? And I'm like, okay, like, how were you responding? Like, oh, I responded like all the time, message her all the time. Good morning. Good night. I love you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, so you left zero mystery, zero mystery in the relationship. So now you're wondering, what do you, what do you do? Because she's like, she lost respect. She lost attraction. So the first thing you need to do when somebody loses respect and attraction is to pull away, to not, to show that you do not need the relationship anymore. You don't, you, you're the, the care is low. Okay. Because if you start chasing somebody who doesn't want to be with you and doesn't care about being with you and doesn't really want to engage with you anymore and doesn't give a shit basically, all you have to do is start pulling your pulling your um, your attention back away and start focus. Sorry about the chair, by the way. I know it's squeaky. Um, you have to just pull back and just match the energy. So many guys get so attached to the outcome of what you know. They'll, they'll watch no contact videos, for example, and they're like, "Oh my god, like how can I turn things around and how can I do this and how can I do that?" I'm like, stop. Again, you're trying to control them and to control their energy. And the best way to do that is to, again, go back to focusing on your mission and your purpose. There are so many things that you can do. Read the book because when you read the book and you understand, you know, fucking female nature, you understand what women are doing, what they are attracted to. You, understand, you study attraction itself and apply it to you and growing you and growing your mindset, growing your social circle and just continuing to be the best version of you. You're going to be so much sharper and you're going to be so much better as a guy and you're going to be much more attractive to the opposite sex. And they're going to go, yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm going to see what he's up to. And that's how you start. You spark a, a relationship back. I was talking to a guy not long ago and he was like, I'm going through a breakup, Kyle. And, uh, I, I, I begged and pleaded and I, I messaged her all the time and, and he's like, what do I do? Right. And I said, dude, you just got to stop. And he, the thing is, is he wouldn't stop no matter what I told him. He would not stop contacting her. He was like, yes, I, I need to do something. I need to do something. The whole illusion of action. And you just stop, stop, just stop. Like doing nothing is doing something. It is getting them to go, Hey, he respects my space. He respects his own space. He understands. This is not something they're thinking consciously, but they'll say he understands relationship. He understands how my emotions work. He understands. And this just, this will show you. She will show you that, she, that, that she understands that you understand by liking you. Right. But when she doesn't like you and she pulls back and she doesn't want to be around you, she subconsciously thinks that you are not good enough. She's like, yo, oh, this guy's too relationship focused. He's too needy. He, you're sub communicating um, that you're just, you want the relationship more than she does. And she needs to think sometimes that you are hard to get mysterious, whatever. Right. Anyway, pick up the book. It'll help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Done.